Welcome everybody. This is Manhattan Community Board One's executive meeting. It is October 19th. It's 611. My name is Tammy Meltzer. I'm the chair. Um, with us, I want to make sure the very first thing that I do is say thank you to Onez James, who's been working on budget and stuff with us and struggling through this. And welcome. Well, wow. Zach. Association of Wall Street. We didn't record the welcome, guys, because I couldn't hear anything. That's okay. You're good. Um, so I want to make sure that everybody knows Zach. Um, Zach's going to get acclimated. He just started this week, so let's not toss him off the boat just so quick, right, into the deep end. Um, He'll be meeting with chairs and co-chairs to get to know all of you. There'll be no changes in committees at all or until December. So no date changes, no handle changes. We just need him to see what's going on for a month. Um, and since he started in the middle of the month and we ended the in middle of the month for that kind of review, and let's be honest, November's whack the month for Thanksgiving, we'll give him some time to absorb and then make changes in December. So, for those of you whose meetings I'm covering, you're stuck with me. All right. Um, with that notification, uh, we want to move on the American Heart Association team back to Community Board One. How many years has this been? 45. 44. Yeah. So, um, please, please welcome. Keep in mind um, the meetings are recorded, the owls are our microphones and cameras. So we welcome you to stand and to speak loudly directly into them so you can be heard. And please introduce yourselves. You have the floor. Sure. Um, really nice to meet everybody. I'm Dean Uragnelli. I serve as the Vice President of Development for the American Heart Association here in New York City. In my role, I oversee all of our fundraising efforts, all of the great events that we bring to life in New York. I've been with the organization for 12 years, my entire career. Uh, it's been an ex extremely impactful journey and just appreciate your support. Obviously, our Wall Street Run and Hard Walk um, is our most significant event that we do in our market. Last year, we had a record breaking year. It raised about $4 million towards our mission um, and continues to grow in fundraising every single year, obviously engaging hundreds of um, top employers and organizations to create a, a culture of health and well-being in our community. Um, and so we just appreciate, you know, your support, um, and obviously allowing us to bring this opportunity to this community. Um, it is an exciting year for us. We're celebrating 100 years as an organization, um, which is a pretty big deal. Not many companies make it to 100 years. And so we're really excited to kind of look and celebrate all the advancements that have been made and, you know, in heart disease um, and care um, and kind of forging ahead into hopefully what will be another 100 years of work. So thank you for having us. My pleasure. Um, how many, you said a 100 year celebration yes. this year? 1924, we were founded as an organization. That's it. Come on. And, the two and um, my name is Megan. I'm the associate vice president for community development here for Heart Challenge in New York City. So the Wall Street Run and Heart Walk, um, New York City Marathon that's coming up with a team. So there's a few campaigns that we run, but my main goal is to focus on health and well-being for all the community. And so any way that we can do that and any resources we can provide, so many CPR trainings, you know, anything we can do, that's what we're here to do and support. So thank you so much. And uh, remember some of you from the call last year, I was on the uh, committee board meeting last year. So excited to be here in person. Hi, I'm Lisa Brooks and I'm director at Aventus. This is Hi, my name is Elle Rose Frazier and I'm a producer. In and um, Aventus has been working with American Heart Association. I want to say since 2016 on this event down um, in your community. Um, working with community board and all of the permits, um, kind of working with the local community to make them aware of the event and um, be as expeditious as we can to get in and out of any road closures and impacts to your community. So I do have a couple handouts. I don't know how that's going to work online or no. Uh, well, you know, we love we love being in person. Okay. Uh, we will do the best we can. Okay. Um, so in this um, pamphlet and. Maybe share um, just has the um, roadmap and site plan from uh, last year. There are a lot of um, 
construction concern. I think you guys, like Tim said, have a lot of the um, lowdown of what's happening and how much construction. I've been in touch with DOT special events and they're meeting next week to um, assess the construction projects, particularly on Greenwich, um, to see you know what's going to be viable this year. Um, and kind of work with y'all and with um, construction to figure out a plan. The second page just shows the site map. And then the third page, um, I know there's been a lot of concern about the local schools and the North Historic, but we reached out prior to the event to make sure everyone was aware of the that was happening. And then I reached out recently, um, following up with everyone to try to hear the impact and see if yeah, that's it. But next year. And we're really happy to hear that there was no negative impact to any of the local schools, the after school, or to whole group. Right the what about BMCC? Mm -hmm. uh, there's a couple of responses. Right. Okay, sure. Fantastic. Um, BMCC. Right? The college. BMCC, um, they were there north of where we shut down, but we can definitely, we're happy to reach out to you know, anybody yeah. that I suggest. And, and, um, All right. Let's, let's, let's do orderly around the table. All right. We'll start with the thing. We were saying, sorry, because you have to be loud. Yeah, BMCC, honestly, I, I live in North Parish, City. I come through at the time when they're starting. I had to get the community board meeting. And I had zero problems. I'm doing nothing. Good. That's right. Andrew? I'm sorry if I missed this one. Is it? That's a great question. It's always on a Thursday mm -hmm. um, evening. So typically the um, road closures start around 5 p.m. Um, mm -hmm. And then we do a rolling street closure. So at the start line, um, those roads are closed from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. And then as far as the rolling closure of the actual route itself, Typically, that starts around 536, and then um, they have a bubble, and so that meaning that the front and the back of the path of runners and walkers, the streets reveal them behind them as they pass through. <coughs> What's the date? May 16th. This is the Thursday that we're targeting. So coming up. Um, I'm on May 19th. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, all right. Can I ask one other question? Yes, please do. Um, I don't recall it being the case, and looking at this map, it doesn't seem to be the case, but there's no issue with being able to cross West Street. No. Um, we particularly at Murray and Warren. That's what I thought. Okay. Yeah, the traffic is they do a really great job at Murray Media. The traffic is held there, and I believe they're rerouted over to um north and then kind of back over into the um, are you any problems? has it always been on william street yeah this is the route that i believe it's been for i want to say at least 20 years right. so, so let me just kind impact. of give you a, a couple of clearly you know 100 percent that the construction project that is greenwich and murray will not be finished by the time you are um without a doubt also PS 234 is going under their local law 11. So their sidewalks and everything surrounding their building is under scaffolding. The sidewalks have been divided in half. So where they just have that double sidewalk with the plants and you can't, you can't get to the far side. Right? We don't have an end date on that. I suspect, although I'd love to hear that it would be done before your event, but I, I have not heard that. Um, so that area in particular, they came to us and um, DDC has come to us this month to give us updates. So there's a lot going on over there. When you come around to what we're talking about, there are projects on William, on Pearl, and on Water currently for construction. And then there is on State Street, the Customs House is coming in and present to us because they are working on construction on the east side of the street. And if you said, well, that's okay, because when we get there, we're gonna be on the west side of the street on the parks. When you come around the west side from the point of the bottom of Broadway, all the way over to first place on Battery Place is full construction. And so the sidewalk at that point will be the bike path and pedestrian sidewalk from the bottom of Broadway on the 
south side of Battery Place through to in front of the Jewish Heritage Museum. Sounds so, like it's going to talk about what's not under the right <laughs> trailer. <laughs> there, that, that honestly is part of one of the concerns, right? Is that when we're, when we're looking, there's well over a third of the map that's going to be in construction. So when we took a look, I was like, oh, wow, maybe they can use like Trinity and, you know, church down from the bottom, go up Greenwich. And I was like, oh, no, there's another construction that's going to start in there um, next month. So um, it's going to be very, very impactful for you. And Water and Hanover Square has a big uh, construction on it, uh, pipes and everything. I don't know whether you can have a a pit stop there, a fluid stop, as you call it. It's it's so congested, people can't go left. I mean, they go left with their cars and everything. I mean, there won't be on water, I guess, then. But that's a very, you should check that out, please. That actually, one of the questions that I had for you guys is, in terms of, um, you know, construction disrupting, you, you guys run in the street, right? Yeah. So as long as the... Um, street is open, you, you should be okay, except where you start, where you end, and where maybe you have these Middle, water yeah. stops and whatever. Is that a and fair statement? The water stops will also be in the street. Okay. Um, and then the, oh. the theme and special events, um, they will often work with the um, construction folks for the day of the event to collapse their mm -hmm. footprints to as much as they can, depending on. What the is. That's a big footprint, so you better check yeah. it's right in the middle of the street. Yeah, yeah, and I would just echo what Tammy said about TS-234. I just happened to walk by there today. Yeah, they're re yeah, and, and they've got the scaffolding extends out into the cross sidewalk on the north side of the street, as well as uh, along the uh, west side of whatever that is, Greenwich. Yeah. There. It's kind of a mess there uh, right now. I don't know if it'll be done by next May or, or not. Um, when I spoke with Officer Ford, he said that they might be moving where the construction is now. We used, we used to be further south on Greenwich, and mm -hmm. that's where there's a major construction between Barclay and yes, that's right. Murray. Um, he said that might be done, and they might be moving that part north. They don't think so. <laughs> so there are two parts of that construction project. We just got an update this month. There is what the city is doing, and then there is what uh, BMY Mellon will be doing. So once they actually move north, then a secondary project starts behind that. So I'd love to say that you could move back south, and that would be awesome. But unfortunately, I don't think unless you're south, like World Trade Center south, I don't think that it's uh, it's a it's a good area necessarily. Um, so I have a couple of just like funky questions to ask for you. Um, if you raised four million last year, what's your goal this year? Our goal is actually six million. Um, we are, we're adding an additional event, so that doesn't just include the Wall Street Run. It includes our marathon team. We're doing an indoor cycling event, so we're hoping the um, Wall Street Run will be around about five million, five point two million. That's a nice jump from last year. We um, our hundredth year. We set ambitious goals. So. I know what your check-in numbers have been for the last couple of years. What is um, last year? What did you do for check-in versus what like we anticipated? That you guys would probably have a better. Last year we had about um, eight thousand total participants. Yeah, we make sure to stay under um, under that ten thousand. Pre-COVID, you were ten to fourteen thousand in that range. Um, reportedly, when you came, you had said to us pre-COVID years you were ten to twelve thousand. It was usually year. about ten that yeah. showed up that day. Yeah, we never went over ten thousand, so that necessitates um, additional permitting with the state, and so we capped it so we wouldn't go over ten thousand. Okay. It's different than what somebody told us when yeah. they came in 22. So. Maybe the maybe the 14 registered and oh. 10 on site. Was that including the, um, the kind of virtual program that stemmed from 2020, where we allowed people to do their own 5K, their own run separately? So we did register a virtual participant group that was about, I want to say about four to five thousand. Yeah. 
And we are doing that again this year. So the registration numbers on the website will be higher than what's actually in person because of that 5,000 so person people that are virtual. And the reason for that, just for context outside COVID, which obviously forced us into the need to do stuff virtually, is a lot of the companies that we work with are global or national in scale. So they actually like to engage their employees in this, especially a lot of the financial firms that may not be based in New York, but are in Denver or Chicago, and they'll actually get their employees out just going for a run that day in their city. Okay, and so even though you're you're looking to raise the bar for money, you're definitely not looking for more than ten thousand people. Correct. That's correct. Quality, quality fundraising, um, and we're and obviously it's a lot around incentives and sponsorship too. We got a lot of companies that sponsor. Okay, and uh, again, five o'clock scheduled to begin. And are you beginning at Brookfield? Or are you beginning on Warren? So there's like the Warren. Closure is uh, 5 p.m. Um, some people come to check in at Brookfield, and that is open for check in. I'm sorry, I believe it's noon. Yes, that's correct. And so people might come to pick up their race fit, but in like very like limited numbers. And then as far as actual start time, the street closes at 5 p.m. and then we aim to start um, open ceremony at 6 p.m. So it's really 6 to 8. The, or six to nine. As far as the, the street closures, five to eight. Five to eight. Um, they got them smaller. Yeah, they do. What we request and put on the permit is five, and that's when we have our vendors come to start setting up. Um, the PD might. I think the I think PD closes the space down at like three thirty. Yeah. And we've asked them because I know that's been an um, issue to, to not do it till five because we don't really need it till five and. That's when we work with our vendors to make sure they can set everything up in an hour. So we'll reiterate that. Okay. And the race itself starts at six or seven or six thirty. Six. Six is the um, opening okay. ceremony and kickoff, and then the actual like step off, and we start on the street at six thirty. Um. Yeah. So uh, one of the things that we'd love to try and figure out is how we can maintain the bus service through four o'clock in the middle place. Um. And that's with both the MTA and downtown lines. If we're really not starting until five, we'd love to see the buses be able to clear through at least Tribeca at that hour. I mean, if they have to reroute and stuff, but it, it'd be nice to be able to provide a little bit more sanity than that um, and allow people coming home from schools and school buses and things like that. So that would be great. Um, yeah. When the race course is set, one of the things that we should be looking at potentially is I'm concerned about the construction and the runners because the street surface is not great on Water Street at the moment. It's um it's not great if you're a bicyclist, if you're a runner or a car. I mean, it's just not fantastic. So when you walk the route, which I highly hope you do, yeah. um I would tell you to take a real careful look at what the streets look like um, because it's not worth it. Right and I'd be really concerned about health and safety of the people running as well. So, I mean, I don't know if you've ever looked at or considered, you know, other routes, or is this just what NYPD gave you? We've asked them so that's been I know the feedback for, for years, like is there any other route can you know that be less impactful? And they keep going back to this route because they're able to keep a lot of the thoroughfares open, like the West Side Highway, like the access to Brooklyn, um, the FDR, you know, on ramps and that sort of thing. So yeah. That's kind of where they keep that coming back. I'm sorry, I'm having a federal family emergency, so I'm sorry to see me. That's okay. That's fine. All right. Um, fantastic. Does anybody online have questions? You answer them. Ask them for me. Thanks, Tammy. You're welcome. Um, Jeff. Would they come back in March or April so we can see a finalized? We'll actually know before then because I believe you're. We asked to be a fly in the door when they meet with SACO and NYPD. Okay. 
So, in an ideal situation, I think yourself or Betty or I or Darren or somebody from the community board, you know, somebody will be in the room with you guys because what we've unfortunately discovered sometimes what happens is we know what's happening with DDC because they come and present. By the time the information gets to DOT, for example, for their bus stop teams, it could be a month or two, and by that time, they don't know that the construction's actually started. Yeah. Um, which is just, you know, timelines for communication. All right. So, knowing this, um, we would normally do a resolution to support or deny, depending on how we roll, right? The application for they haven't gone to Sabo yet. We also have always put in concerns and questions about things that we need. So, I'd love to hear from the group what you think and where we want to go. Yeah. First of all, I think it's a great event, uh, and uh, although we'll inevitably uh, hear some complaints from people who are trying to get from point A to point B between 5 and 8 o'clock, um, it runs right by where I live, and that's always been a great event as far as uh, I'm concerned. Um, my, my only real concern, based on looking at this map here, is the start location in relation to uh, PS234. Um, I mean, it is kind of chaotic there right now. Now, with any, I've forgotten what time the after school program lets out, but it's probably like right around five. five. Yeah. And um, um, pick up is at five. You get fined if it's after five. Okay. Not that I do. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. It's been a while since my kids were there. Um, uh, I'm not sure what the alternative would be, but I would just urge you to make sure that you are interacting with. Uh, of the after school program, Bob Townley's program, and have you, uh, as well as with principal there to make sure that um, everybody can actually coexist peacefully. Yeah. And we were happy to hear this year that they, we talked about Hatton as well as the S2 and they both indicated that they didn't have any issues. Okay, good. I would check with uh, you pass on your route, uh, PSI is 276. So if you can check in with uh, Principal Alexis. Yeah, I have two seventy six. Yeah, it's down in battery. Place. It's battery, battery first. Yeah. yeah. Um, the other thing too, um, just around the school stuff that I think is important for um, you all to know, just in terms of our impact, we do work with a lot of the local schools, elementary, middle, and high schools across the five boroughs, um, all around health and well being for their students, and so these are also great. Um, if we're not yet working with a school or um, we are just to even provide additional resources or things that we can do to support them throughout the year. Um, so it's not just this one day that the AHK comes in, but really we're creating that partnership to support their students, physical and mental well-being, um, as well as the educators, to be honest. Great. Um, it would be really awesome if signs were posted, not just one day or two days, but like a lot before. Um, occasionally, what I've seen in the past where signs got posted 24 hours out, but with buses being rerouted or stopped and local closures, more notification and signage at bus stops is great. Um, I don't know how it'll impact because the MTA stops have been moved off of Greenwich Street and pushed back towards um, West Broadway, so I don't know, and we would need to know if that route will now function because of how far back they pulled the bus stop. It'd be great if it did. Again, um, having the understanding, um, and maybe if the Downtown Alliance can run on Chamber Street and come across, um, would be great too. All right, so they could operate. They have, um, we've worked with them in the past, making sure that you know, they're aware and they can kind of reroute, but I don't know if they've done something, so maybe we can check out. They don't reroute the cancer. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right. That's awesome. So, anybody else have any other comments or questions or suggestions online? Okay. And one more quick question. Sorry. Andrew. Are there volunteer opportunities? And if so, do you coordinate with the community about? Interest in volunteering? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> reach out. 
Um, but absolutely, we partner with anyone who'd like to support in any way, um, whether it be learning to perform handling CPR and then going out and teaching it, or um, any sort of opportunity related to event day, year round engagement, um, anything. I'll leave them. Yeah, sorry, I would specifically the day of the run. Yeah, uh, absolutely. We need about um, 200 or so volunteers, so absolutely, we're always looking for volunteers. We think the MCC has volunteered in the past. Um, yeah, we'd, we'd love to have. The local and the like, be able to participate. That would be amazing. Okay. And so I know it's not like the MCC at Metropolitan College, the three, high, three or four high schools. Yeah, we've got you know, high schools on Trinity. Yeah. yeah. We had a whole group of like 40 or 50 high school students handing out water at the finish line last year. So I would really love to have a group of high school students throughout the Hustle area. You yeah. know, the two high schools on Trinity. Yes. Finance. Okay, yeah. Cool. But I, it's funny because I have written down CPR training. Do you really see yes. Because I would love the community board if we can talk about the community well, board getting it. Absolutely. Fantastic. Thank you. Yeah, because we, we did it like years well, ago. We did yes. Like 15 years ago. Send, send, yeah. If you don't mind sending me some of the details of the who, what, where, yeah, when, how. And uh, we'll coordinate a day and do a CPR training day for the board to look at and we have about that. Sounds great. great. All right. So, with that, I'd like to. Call the questions for the run until I get a second. Sorry. I'll second. All right. All in favor? Aye. Online. I see faces. Everybody in favor? Fantastic. Are there any abstentions? Any oppositions? Any refusals? Motion passed. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate your partnership in coming in today and including us in the dialogue and improving the safety for everybody. Thank you. We appreciate your time. Enjoy the rest of the meeting. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Good night, everybody. Thank Good you. Good night. I, I do feel bad for them because when you look at this map, I'm like, you've got to, you've got to. Like you said, it would have been probably easier to just state the two or three streets that are not affected, but we will. It, it is true. It is really true. It's a mess. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Okay, sorry. Thank you very much. I have to put my working on my resolutions. I will put all the information in, including the safety of the water stations in the street um, and the conditions of the roads. Okay. Budget. Let's run through this as quick as we can, which is going to be a slight bit on the other side, but I should. So did you print it out? No, we did not. Everything's going to be virtual because a I'm tired of killing trees and B this allows us to make, uh, change. make changes on the fly. Let's just make sure that. <clears throat> okay. Is there a digital link that I can have for those who can't see well? Yeah, I can't see it. I can't think it. I have thought of my other plans. With or without progress. <laughs> Come on, honey, buddy. No. Oh, you mean come up there? Come, come sit over here. That's right. No, no, no. He's fine. He's <laughs> oh, God. Five, if you have a link, I'd love to see it. Want my glasses? I need. Them. Yeah, you can send him a link. He'll pull it up on his phone and be sitting there like this. That's true. But it's we like, don't have the move. There you go. All right. So here we go. We the budget is divided into expense and capital. So we have it grouped by both um, expense and capital separated out. Then we have it sorted with three fields to make it a little bit easier. The current committee that it came in with, the agency that it belongs to, and the location. In the goal to try and figure out if we have overlap. I will tell you that in the training Zach and I attended for budget, we have a lot of line items. <laughs> Right, we had a submitted last year 50 and 54. That's not double necessarily where we should be. We can leave advocacy things on there. That's fine. We can leave as many on as we choose to. It doesn't mean anything. We have to sort by priority. We did a full survey to the public that went out. And according to DCP, they were really surprised and pleased because we got one hell of a response. And the concerns were a little bit different than they were in the past. As you can probably imagine, 
the top concern was quality of life issues with helping with homeless, trash, noise, rats, noise, congestion, yeah. but directed at the confluence of pedestrians, bicyclists. Those are the primary topics. Resiliency was there, but because resiliency has been started and probably because nobody saw anybody flood in the last six months downtown for the most part, it wasn't as highly rated as other things were. Yes, infrastructure, but there were notes that people put in saying, we know this is in the works. Really interesting. Public space, high on the list. Open space, high on the list. Getting more parks, high on the list. And greening. And greening everything. So, um, did I miss anything from the public feedback for most part? Crime, 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 homeless, quality, quality, quality of life, quality. crime, homeless, petty theft, really high, and which then, according to the comments online, has led to combining with high rents. Affordability was a huge line through everything. We had commercial. Um, affordability comes through the public portal. Renters, condos, co ops all complained about affordability in Texas and New York City. And the comments were we need businesses back, the rents have to come down to get businesses back. And the taxes. And the taxes. So those were the general feedback that we got. Zach and I will put it through for the paragraphs for the full board for you to see. Here we just want to go through here. So we did not do printouts because what we've learned is when you say, hey, let's make that a little bit clearer and change it, that leaves the bandwidth later. And then at the board meeting, no, no, that's not exactly it. So we're making them on the fly. All right. So we are starting with uh, the first group of expenses are literal expenses. So green infrastructure, we have our grow Frankfurt. Right. The city has said they work with DDG to implement stormwater retentions and bile spreads. And that one should have been fixed. That one needs to be looked at. Okay. okay. Um, DCLA, South Street Seaport Museum, financial support. Uh, Where do you see which committee? Sorry. Uh, that committee. Isn't that yeah, that's a good question. Where's my committee? Where's my committee? I, I would have thought it was. I just didn't uh, see it. So. Yeah, hold the, hold the committee. What's this committee called? Waterfront Park and Culture. Mm -hmm. That's a good question. Submit something on that. Oh, that one was actually, none of these were tagged to a committee. Oh, yeah. So yeah. let's, uh, we have to tag to a committee on those. So no problem. I'm like, why isn't it down? Okay. The museum goes to waterfront parks and cultural. Um, study locations for cargo bike parking throughout the district for water and use of commercial that goes to DOT. That's cool. It's cool. Yes. Yeah. Where is the new hide this? We've been trying to get down there. Yeah, soon. There you go. So these are all expenses. Uh, you see the OMB request, and the explanation. Those are probably the most important parts to really kind of take a look at. Okay. So, uh, you go. okay, traffic and parking studies. This is left turn on 9A that requires further study. That was a long standing request that still is very late. Okay, uh, the following one is traffic and pedestrian safety, pilot education enforcement to reduce human powered and electrical propelled bicycle riding on the sidewalk and in dense crowds of pedestrians. Okay, right. I'm sorry, what was that? This is about your excursion. Keep the bike up sidewalks. Oh, give me, yeah. Right. Well, it's, it's a quality of life it's that like every meeting. Right. Because we have people who are riding as Okay. Um, you know what? There's um, it's kind of a separate but related problem um, with the advent of e-bikes. 
No motorized scooter of any sort, electric or gasoline. Well, they strap rules anymore. They go road way down one way street. They run red lights. They uh, with right apparent impunity. Um, yeah. Yeah. And and just I, I don't know if we want to just add that in here, but that is that is kind of a distinct problem of the conflict between e-bikes and regular bikes and bike lanes and, and so forth. I'm not sure if we have it further down, but it was a I'm sorry, Jay, very right you, discussion. There's a conflict between e-bikes and why? I'm sorry to hear you. It's, it's any of the electrified bikes or the mopeds or the now sort of electrified mountain bikes right. and motorbikes, like uh, what did they call them? Dirt bikes? Right. They send, They seem to be now on the greenway where they're not allowed. They're, all, they're, they're everywhere. On, they're everywhere, but they're even on regular streets. They don't obey traffic rules. There everywhere. appears to be no enforcement. I mean, in the old days, you could, if a motorcycle was coming to a red light and you were at a crosswalk, you could have some confidence that they're going to stop. Well, now they don't. There's no enforcement. And, 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 and there's no. And the answer the police give is that how are they going to catch them? How well, well, how do they catch them? Do you give them licenses? I'm not talking yeah. about just the. I think they should have identification. So, so licenses are a state issue. Yeah. We discussed it at Borough Board this morning. Mm -hmm. We can we should take that up. Yeah. There is uh, there are bills that are out there in the state that are um, talking about. Yeah. All of this, so that's something that we can take into committee. It's not a city budget item, but I think Betty knows that there could be city. That you can get city enforcement. So, for example, um, when it comes to this, New York City is responsible even on the Greenway for. Um, I did look this up, so I have an answer. Um, on the Greenway, the city is responsible for where the 9A bike lane intersects. First, NYPD can do speed and e-bike limits, and second is the crosswalks and signals. They have jurisdiction over all of that. Um, so we can put in that we are looking for greater enforcement of the 9A bike lane for speed, e-bike limits, and Sure. Is it just the 9A bike or is it also, you know, they are, I've seen them on the sidewalks. Like, yeah. They're really not. They're everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to get bogged down by this, but as someone who actually is a fan of the electric scooter going, I don't have a garage anymore because it collapsed, so I have to go to the West Side Highway. Oh. And the only way I can do it is a scooter or a cab. And right now, there's legally no way for me to get to the West Highway. against that. But there is, I can't go on the, um, West Side Highway, but the running path or for the bike path, I'm not allowed there. Right. I'm not allowed on the sidewalk. I'm not allowed on West Side Highway. Oh, you're not allowed on no. West Side Highway? So it's, it's legally, I can't do it. But by state law, in virtually every state in the country, any kind of vehicle, whether it's bike or car or scooter, has to obey traffic laws. They're already regulated. Yeah. So that's, that's, that's the bottom line. But they don't. But the best question is to provide bike enforcement. enforcement. So then let's do bicycle enforcement then. I think it's, 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 it's the enforcement for speed limit, right? And, yeah, but, well, and traffic control. I'm covered in nine miles per hour, so no, no but it, it, it's there are different priorities. It doesn't bother me if a bicycle is running a red light as long as they're looking both ways. But it bothers me a lot if somebody's losing two or thirty miles an hour on a vehicle yes. that pays, you know, hundred pounds. I mean, that's illegal. That yeah. be but, but it's not the guys who bother me and the guys who think they're Greg Lamond on the West Side Highway going thirty-five miles per hour. So. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I had a guy coming at me with his motorized thing diagonal the wrong way at Liberty and West. Yeah. He came through the World Trade Center campus diagonal. And I was mm -hmm. like, I just stop. I'm not picking up a fight here. No, no, no. We're just, we're going to say. But again, yeah, like the, the road bikers yeah. who think it's like the Tour de France on the West Side Highway are just that. Right? So let's put that on there too. You know? Well, I don't disagree. Yeah. Yeah. But when you're old, and you try to cross the street and somebody misses you by this much. Yeah. I mean, and really it's going the wrong way. And well, you have to with yeah. So anybody. Okay. You have to be young. Screw Other <laughs> NYPD staff resources. We asked in 2021 to increase the hourly rate 
um, and provide full time positions for more NYPD. Um, we said based on the latest budget, the NYPD has specific budget headcount agencies working on filling. But I think that uh, the how about training so they did something. <laughs> so, <laughs> and then we said it didn't get funded. So they said there's no money for this. <laughs> I hope not. Was no, not all of them, but just the important. I bet it was going down. Going, going down. Uh, DHS currently funds programs to address issues. It says we said increased funding and mental health for the homeless. homeless. They said it's already been funded. We want to increase it beyond that. Yes, <laughs> I think that's what we definitely want to increase it. Okay, beyond perfect. That. All right. So then, uh, bus stop construction from the PS two seventy six that was a request by the school. So uh, we're going to leave that there. Designate Gate Warehouse Residential as a national as a North to allow for enhanced services. This was something that came by resolution. The agency recommended funding, but they didn't. Have well, it's not a state issue thing. Yeah, let's go for it again, can we? Which we'll leave it there. Okay. Develop and improve ways to identify specific locations in park that are solely under jurisdiction. That has to do that's OTI, that's 311 requests, because if or 911, sometimes you can't be found in the park because they can't geolocate you because the parks and OTI have to be done. All right. Uh, this is Albany and West looking for um, audible signals because we had somebody hit there. Actually, two weeks later. Yeah. Basically, a long time. Year and a half? Yeah. Other affordable housing program requests aim of increasing permanent affordability in Battery Park City. This is an update. Um, so, this was QSR, it expires. QRS, actually. Thank you. Uh, we can do QRS. Yeah. Um, I did. I need to change it. So, um, can you change that to QRS? Mm -hmm. All right. Um, and while we're changing that, they included the two southern buildings on Battery Place and others that are um, converting over. And they said further study, we changed that one from a detailed complex and added to housing. Uh, issues that were raised uh, this year. Okay, um, this is the second part of the can't find you for emergency response in the parks. One is for three one one. The other was for nine one one in Battery Park City Parks. Because if you are in Rockefeller, there was no address and no geolocating for fire and emergency either, which we discovered it was somebody who went in the drive. Okay. Fund City's green infrastructure program to ensure all lower Manhattan parks and green streets have green space, adequate stormwater capture. DEP is currently working on stormwater. Yeah, they need money um, to work on other locations. Uh, again, stormwater, this is via, this is in Barnett Newman Triangle. As an expense, it's a further study they were willing to do. Um, this is the DOT part of Barnett Newman Triangle, which is funding the trees and planters to find the edges of the site, the crosswalks for their study. Sanitation improvements, composting, recycling funds are reinstated to re reduce and reuse waste, but include funding for new trash containers. Um, we're going to also leave that up. Fund financial assistance for accessibility to reach compliance with local law 97. That was for the small business, small building owners who are struggling sometimes in the historic areas versus the large business owners. Do, do we have a sanitation? Do we have a separate item on increased funding for enforcement? They really don't do it in enforcement. Yeah. And they claim to have budgetary problems. It's the reason for not doing enforcement. Well, we had one, but it didn't make any sense. So let me write that down and let me hang on to it and see that the end 
I mean, remember yeah. that mess on South End Avenue this summer when there was a huge pile of commercial garbage out by? Well, I want to have the um, sanitation come to our meeting because I we aren't clear about the commercial, you know, garbage with the container on him. Yeah, I mean, there, there, there was just some random, we never could figure out who it was, but someone was just dumping commercial garbage on the sidewalk in front of a business. That's disgusting. And, they came and off nobody, the it, I, I'm, off the I'm the pretty sure it's from the notes myself. I watched them. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. But it's there for weeks. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, this is for. NY uh, New York City Emergency Management Flood Water Protection Tribeca Hudson River Park has done in the South Street Seaboard because we don't have anything. Um, I think we should specify from Harrison through Canal um, because we don't. We said Northwest Corner. Yeah, I think we should. Okay. Um, and then the next one is even. The next one is even more detailed. West side from the edge of the BPCA plan north. So I think that's fine. We need to. This one, I think, has to say. How do we how do we rephrase that one? Because we have no flood protection on the west side. Above the battery park city. Well, well, assuming the project is supposed to be above North Mall. Right. Is it no? It's Harrison. No, they ended North Mall now. They ended North Mall now? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to change the one that says Stuyvesant in High School North to North and North Street North. Yeah, um, here. Okay, I think that that one's, you know, close, right? I think that one's okay. I think we can probably take this one off that is funding for internal blood, Tribeca, because we have it below. The one up from this, I think that one can go away because it's just, it. yeah, because it's a duplicate. Yeah. Right, yeah. because we've got the one right below it. Okay. Because so you're that. looking to cover, Tammy, what's above what the, what the Battery Park City North and West Resiliency Flood exactly. Protection Program is going to cover, correct? And you want funding for that. Exactly. All right, community board staff, we definitely want an increase. Yeah. I'm just saying. All right, parking and traffic studies, um, flackers, it just requires further study. Yeah. It doesn't. It just, just get rid of them. Yeah. All right. So, uh, land use and zoning. That's a general one. Patrick, this came out of ours to like have a comprehensive land use and zoning versus what we got going. All right. We asked for our zonings to do a study to create zoning requirements for cold waste storage rooms in newly constructed buildings as well as enlargements and conversions. It's cold waste storage. Yeah, for your regular garbage, it doesn't sit yeah. outside of like a, a big thing. You know, okay. thank you. But that's even that's just, that's a that's a requirement in commercial spaces now officially. You, you can't just make a McDonald's and put your garbage out on the street. I don't think. What about residential? No, I I I don't know. But it definitely would be a zoning resolution. You know, it could be a zoning thing more than like a. But it could be building code. Could be building code. So do we need it? Well, we that. We yeah. don't want garbage okay. everywhere, especially okay. in the summers. As it, it, it is, okay. I don't know. Maybe we, maybe we can be. Uh, Should we do a cold storage part? Maybe, it, but, you know, maybe we can make some room. But definitely don't want big buildings coming up, and then you have to walk over trash piles to get down Beekman Street is the one I think of. But there must be billions. Yeah, there's a lot of garbage. <laughs> okay, so. Yeah, that line already said, well, you're the mayor. Any food related establishment must containerize their trash. Mm -hmm. So we're not talking about trash bags, we're talking about climbing over their trash bags. Yeah. So, I think, well, I, I think this, for, this for, is residential. So yeah, I think the right. distinction here is, by the way, and maybe it's too fine of a distinction, but uh, this is talking about how 
um, residential buildings, large and medium sized, including conversions of old office buildings, would be required by zoning to have space within the building to keep the garbage there, not even containerized on the street, which I know is another potential proposal, not really down here, but could be. Um, and different from the commercial new commercial. Yes, yeah, similar to like the Battery Park City does it. Although we still do throw yeah. garbage out, though, don't we, Betty? Yeah. The rest of the district doesn't have nice things. Uh, yeah. so we're looking for uh, zoning to we sort of help with that. Okay, so I, I I changed it to say newly constructed buildings as well as enlargements and commercial to residential conversions. So I okay. Uh, LBC enforcement levy violations to discard landmark laws. Um, the agency recommended it. ADA compliance in historic schools. Um, it said this re request is not recommended for what? Where the ADA compliance in historic yeah. it's schools. It's not recommended for funding, believe it or not. Who said? The agency. But I think. Um, Maybe it's an S school. I, mean, I think we should. I think we should change it to SCA. Mm -hmm. Can't afford it. Yeah. No, they're, they're kind of reflecting yes. it, and we want to try it as a different. Exactly. Store. Yeah. Got it. Okay. So when you say historic school, what do you mean? Well, I have an example, like it's not our district, but SAW. It's a building from before the 21st century and it doesn't have an elevator. So if you break your leg or you, you come with a disability or any, it's to walk up to the fifth floor, it's insane. I mean, it's like, how can students learn if they don't have access to the floor that all their classes are? Okay. Uh, I'm kind of tibbling with the word historic because it sounds like, you know, it's designated in some way as opposed to some sort of a, okay, legacy or something. Yeah. yeah. Uh, built right without. Like yeah, almost yeah, uh, yeah. So not yeah. compliant, you know, currently non compliant, or, yeah. you know, like, and not, you know, like when you're not accessible prior to ADA. Right. Right. Yeah, well, that's the simplest. Yeah. But currently non accessible building. Yeah. Right. Yes. Yeah. Any school. Yeah. Any school. Yeah. Do we have any of those in CB1? Probably not, but. You think we have one? Oh, but you know what? This, this, Tommy, this actually came from the landmarks thing. That's why we, we, we kind of have that in that area, just to say that much, right? Because okay. sometimes there are also buildings, and maybe it's not even schools. Come to think of it, where a city owned building that's not handicapped accessible from the street, and therefore challenges come because it's built in the Beaux Arts style, and you have to chop off. Uh, you yeah. know, so they definitely deal with that. I don't. And I guess we're so maybe they're two separate things. One is for this kind of non compliant city building, and one is for. Well, know. let's see what happens. Okay. We're, we're, um, we're not going to call it historic schools, we're going to call it in schools. According to the prior to the ADA requirements. Are we going through every that one? So okay. Uh, yeah. uh, enforcement, yes. Uh, LPC. Uh, I think this this specifically is the landmarks buildings built in park. We need clarity on which buildings. I mean, I don't know if that was like the comfort station in Battery Park, or if it was the historic building that was that's the subway station. What are you talking about? 21 or 22 reconstruct or upgrade. So that's, oh my God, there's so many city hall park. You can't barely walk across the cobbles or whatever you want to call it. We them. can't see what it's uh, So read it to us. Uh, or it's on the bottom, the at any park where you have, uh, what does it say? Reconstruct or upgrade a building in a park. Right. I mean, I think it's really park. park. Uh, how about so like what buildings? Buildings. We had one. Um, it was for me, it was more like uh, when you have a situation where there's a need. Like, again, I maybe actually think of some better examples when we're done with this meeting, but uh, there are areas that are protected, like City Hall Park, that need an upgrade. They're a park, they're not a building, they're a thing. So, where's the money for redoing that whole park? Can't we 
that's in you. Uh, there's another thing here for individual repairs. I thought you were meant like the comfort station in, and the battery, which okay. you know, that's a fine thing. Long, or the subway stop in the battery, which is that old. Yes, but why even limit it to the store? Can we just ask because this came through yours. I know, but now that we're talking about it, can we just say any city owned kiosk so, or this so, thing should be I, I, X, Y, and Z? And money should be thrown at it. And X, Y, and Z can be A, accessible, better for, uh, you know, access for people. B can be just whatever the best word is for making it look like it was cleaned in the past hundred years. And I can work on a list. I mean, just like do tonight. Can we just fine tune this? Uh, three so three? Three. And these are all mine. So uh, hopefully you guys already went through all of yours. I'm just lucky nope. to be here. Tomorrow. You're just a <laughs> thing. How about study of landmark structures for upgrades in parks? And just landmarks. I don't remember how these came up exactly, but uh, we're now on 23. Yeah, of 105. Other bench budget was to expand. Okay. Study of landmark structures for upgrades and parks. Expand grant programs for restorations of landmark structures uh, cited with located within parks. What would that even be? It's too big. It's too big. Is it fences around Wayne Park? I, I, I'd like to try. Can we just. Say JF, you know, put like a J and an F, and I'll work on number twenty-two unless it's like not. We don't we don't call it as number twenty-two because it's twenty-two only in the short order that we have it. Oh, well, whatever one it is. Yeah, you know, like go okay. call them I can put it yeah. up. Jason, we'll I have Jason. I have notes. Um, and once Jason, oops, this is this needs to be modeled. Okay, be clear now which which buildings are. Mm -hmm. Cobblestones, does that count? You know, where, where do we cover that sign of Okay. All right. That's uh, open dining. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I'm just going to leave that to like that. Yeah, leave it the way it is. Um, the agency agreed with the request comments. Uh, South Street Seaport, all construction sites, animal and pest requests, including rat, reducing rat populations, increased resources to DS and Y. To address the proliferation of rats and other vermin in Lower Manhattan, special target locations or South Street Seaport and construction sites. Okay. And or, or big, it's not only construction sites, it's also dormant construction sites. It's a construction site. Right. Or big. Because I'm going to have a lot of sitting there. They can back in. The rats now construction. NYPD, improved traffic, uh, tunneling pilot activities on sidewalks. Uh, enforcement. So this one requires additional information. Yeah, we'll have to measure this one. I think this is where I'm on the Okay, got that. Okay. Uh, higher addition uniforms officers uh, came out of quality of life. Yeah, we can leave that there. Programs for homeless veterans. Um, it's not homeless veterans, it's just homeless at this point. Uh, and it's increased funding for mental health and outreach to the population of homeless CB1. Uh, fund additional programs for local outreach groups and task force to spread resources. It's six okay. Increased enforcement of dirty sidewalk, dirty area, spending of clean area laws. Okay. So one way the same, it's good. Uh, yeah. Okay. DOT traffic study for cargo bike parking. This seems like it's a two for that. So we keep it there because we like cargo bikes. Okay. And we'll straight to late. These are not the ideas. These are small all just all the Oh boy. We'll see what it is. It's best out Okay. Canal and late traffic and parking impact on it's there. Okay. They asked for further study. Canal straight. <laughs> Additional crosswalks, mid block crosswalk in front of ESI's 89. 
I would so get rid of that. What? I would so get rid of that one. And, and they haven't done so last year. Thank you. If the schools have asked for it, advocated for it. Well, the school doesn't know what they're talking about. But we're just asking them to study it. If DOT comes back and says yes. Well, they said that. They said no. No, it says it requests further study. That's what we said. Okay. Uh, site of existing and proposed Manhattan Detention Center. Uh, yeah. Has to do with what is that? It's like in the past. Huh? Yeah. yeah. I mean, they did do some studies already. Uh, no. I'd like to update. Record and working study is based on new jail plans. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Westside Highway in Albany, there we go. Um, check if that one's a do. So I think we have it above as well. This might be the traffic light. The last one is for crossing. Okay. Um, nonprofits uh, funding the museum is recommended that this request be brought to city council. That wasn't funded by the mega development at all. Do you mean any new They made a second or no? I don't remember. Seriously. No, no. They made some commitment. Oh, you know, because they have lawsuits to settle. If they lose, if they lose, they're not going to give them money. Okay. Uh, we request more pets and parks uh, staff. Yes, yes, yes. Right. Hire additional, provide expanded park amenities, like a public pool, more green, uh, extend library hours, restore fundings. We need we need to hit uh, EDC on that pier that's been going to demolish the building. It's coming. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, the Coast Guard building on South Street. Uh, we go up for public and community use. Um, in conjunction with the uh, support. All right, uh, job ben Okay, this is for the crossing parks. We're going to take another stab at how to do this. So, we're asking to add additional hours to enable benefits and increase the pay rate for school crossing guards or add job responsibilities to include work inside each school in between school crossing guard hours in order to offer full time positions in addition to part time positions. You can put it in the best answers. Yep. Yeah, and we'll say. They already said that they funded the expanding of the Metro card to cover um, full day and weekend usage. But I know that's not true because you can't travel on a Saturday on a Metro card. The kids. It's for kids. Oh, children. For kids. Yeah, or after a certain time. Kids. Kids. Correct. So we need to. And they can't travel they can't back travel and forth. Three times. Three times per car a day. That seemed like it could be better off as like a couple more. What's the harm in that really? Well, it should be able to go home. It should just be able to travel. Yeah. yeah. Around the city. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Yes. Go ahead, Patricia, jump in. Um, I, I would like to, I know this has been on here a couple of times, but we have to get their focus on this. I mean, the reality is either they give this card to the kid or the kids are going to keep jumping the turnstiles. That's just all there is to it. So they were complaining about the kids jumping turnstiles and they were saying that they were going to crack down on them. They haven't cracked down on them, which is why this hasn't moved, I think. Um, but I, that's why, you know, we keep putting it back on, just so you know. <laughs> but they have done a crackdown on some. They, the they do on some, I've had mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, so on kids? Yes. So they need to give them the cars. Yeah. 
As I, I have not heard that, but if that's the case and they are going through with that, they need to just give them a card. I mean, there, there are all kinds of enrichment sports all that happen on Saturdays, you know, giving them two rides on a Saturday and four rides during the week. I mean, it's just not the end of the world. And they had the uh, coaches giving the kids the Metro card to go to practice so that all kids didn't get them so that kids that didn't do sports didn't end up with free rides to go places that can work too, but it wasn't happening. So, you know, I think the feeling in our committee was either enforce things, either have the coaches give them their weekend trips and their after school practice trips, or just make them available for the whole city. You know, but you, you have to be able to give students Metro cards to their sports practices that are often very long distances away. Um, Bishop, from the school, if I could add, um, I think the school Metro cards that they would give, um, would end. It wouldn't work after 7 o'clock or 6 o'clock or something. And that's just not late enough with the sports. Katie would routinely happy to become come home from practice. From millennium in Brooklyn to get to, you know, battery Park City, but millennium. And the, the, the Metro card wouldn't work and, you know. It, it was not okay. There were some kids who just did not have the money to pay back. Okay, Justine, done, done, moving on. Okay, both done. Class size, decouple funding from class sizes. The law passed to reduce the class size. The problem that we have is the funding for your school is based on per pupil. So every school wants to have to the most that they can students. So they have the most amount of money that comes in. We've now passed a law saying 25 kids in a class, reducing class size for better education, which automatically now cuts funding to schools. So that's all that is. Okay, Governor's Island. <laughs> Athletic fields. There we go. Keep going. All right. Uh, traffic on second and battery. Uh, Traffic for second and battery boys. I think we did get stop. Did we get stop signs there or what? Yeah, so we can remove that, right? Yeah. This card. Okay. Um, next, housing for extremely low and low income households. Build income restricted housing for a mix of families, studio, and multi benefit. Yep. The agency of breaks. Fantastic. Friday, C4, EDC, uh, okay. um, Battery Park City housing programs, okay. Brooklyn Bridge, uh, capturing, managing stormwater runoff in connection with the downspouts from the elevated roadway. Further study, district wise for DEP for CSO systems into the east of Hudson. Okay. Uh, capital budget, short term flood, resiliency. We have as capital expense. Yeah. Or the one where the agency responded and say that they're working on it and putting in the request again? Yes. Yes, we work on it. And if it says, don't want them to stop. Right. And if it says it's funded, then you request for continued funding. All right. Uh, so the Brooklyn Bridge, this is for, uh, yep, there you go. It's for siting underneath in the arches that we've been talking about. Um, and it's for all kinds of uses. So it's siting public facilities and amenities, quality of life benefits of bringing the space, restoring it as an active link. Public restrooms and approved locations. Uh, we need to make sure that the location of this is one secure street. What was improved locations mean? Um, I'm just going to say public restroom installations. Um, they asked for, and one of the things I have to bring back to quality of life for November was the city gave us a zip code that they want us to suggest sites for bathrooms in. And so it's approved locations. We they came to us. We approved. You mean as part of the. We approved the location for one center street. I don't know if you remember, it went through landmarks, it went through everything. We're downstairs to the right of the building. Yeah. 
still not. I think we were approved at three years. So it was site specific as opposed to a general statement of more bat more public bathrooms across the this, this is for yeah. the borough president's program to where he wants one bathroom per zip code. Is that what you're talking about? Well, no, we have it to get the bathroom downstairs. We did that one specifically right. by budget, and then we have one somewhere else about developing the plan. Got it. Yeah. Uh pedestrian and curb ramps. Um, and we love the fact that they said will accommodate. So that's continued funding. Can I say something about the center street? I yep. was looking at things today, and in fact, there was a resolution in 2018 yep. where CB1 DOT offered to build, but they were going to put KPT in there. And Community Board 1 said, we like the idea, but it's wrong context. Put in something different. So I think maybe it's worth getting back to the DOT about is the offer still there or what are the options? Because the DOT has their to deal with the cow. Yeah, we can do that through quality of life because they're working on the bathroom issue. Absolutely. We just want the bathrooms. You can go back to that resolution and yep. see if that was a sticking point because it was offered at that time. Yeah. And that's odd because I remember it went through landmarks also. And and we said just make it look a little more historic to stick there. You can look up on You know what? Maybe but but there's a funny thing. The technology today is so different than it was then. They could skim the outside of it to look just like point that. where the tank was up by the ceiling where you had to pull down a chain. Okay. And those are variable. Yeah. Imagine we had to put that back in for a story. But didn't we have an issue with the oh, bathroom because they were going to have the <laughs> restaurant there? Not the restaurant. Not the restaurant. They do have a restaurant, but it's only it's not in the winter. It's seasonal. It, I think it's seasonal. Okay. I thought that was why we. Okay. Had yeah, that, that was one. Of the in the west. Uh, yes. We did that already, didn't we? Yeah. Auditory signal. I thought we had another one. Yeah, I thought we did. So let me let's I'll flag it for a do. I like dudes so that I can get rid of stuff. Center from Chambers to Walker. Um, this is this is for auditory signals on center from Chambers to Walker. Yeah, I almost got my ass wrong over today, so I I love that. Um, sorry, Collister uh, roadway maintenance reconstruction of the alley with the cobblestones. Wayne Street Hudson and Greenwich roadway maintenance for potholes. Um, and I can see the rules for APS is it changing. I mean, it was a, an issue before. We don't have any criteria, which is why I'm sure they said no. Um, but in fact, the criteria again changed in August 8th of this year. Where if there's any intersection that's open, they have to install. So the stipulation that the regulation, what they're going to do is changing. <laughs> okay. Thank you. I'm really excited to hear that. So, okay, roadway maintenance, roadway maintenance, all of that stays. If somebody sees these and knows that they've been fixed, not yeah. so so yeah. Pearl Street um, pedestrians. This is about crossing over there and how the areas are unmarked. So, how about street signs with names on them? Not over there. They're 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 very few. Just the whole area. You walk around our neighborhood. There are no street signs. Find find me a location. Oh, I will. I'll, I'll, I'll take it. Start walking into yeah. one one. Yeah, there's plenty of them. Yeah. Well, people there are signs. People saw no and without no parking sign right in there. Yeah. This is they don't even yeah, have a street name. Yeah, Battery Park City Authority is not doing anything on South End Avenue, so we're leaving that there because it's becoming an even worse mess. How about a parking study? Like a study of like how there's a million no standing commercial parking things in our neighborhood, but now it's like a 90% resi neighborhood. Where does that get? Whoever addresses that? Every every spot in my house. Well, does it mean money? I don't know. Well, this, this is the fire conversation needs out, yeah. and I'll tell you why. And we do need to have it in the because one of the things that came up today on borough board was individual community boards discussing residential parking permits, which we've never discussed here. It just didn't go over well. 
um, but it was a conversation because congestion pricing is causing all kinds of conversations, including the fact that congestion pricing installed all those wonderful things and didn't think about the Macy's things. But it was parade. And so now they'll have to be. You can't fly the balloons on Thanksgiving. So, every one of them. so they have to take all the congestion pricing along the route that the parade route is down for Thanksgiving. Garrison, right? Mm -hmm. But we did discuss permits for people who live in areas getting permits after 9 11. And we were told it was illegal. Well, guess what? They're, re they're having that dialogue again in community boards. So that's something that Betty and I yeah, work on. Certainly, what's going to happen? It's quality of life. Yeah, well, I live in a city that has permitted, and I despise it more than anybody you can imagine. I'm actually with Betty on this. You try and park in Brooklyn Heights. You it's, had a park where it was, it's in why it was done in Chicago. The fact that I you like can't Street. Street. I like Three Street Park. You couldn't park in it. You're all right. In Brooklyn Heights, you can't find it. Yeah, Brooklyn is here. Yeah, you can find street parking, although like, people sleep in the streets these days. Same with it. I lost it sometimes. Oh, well, yeah, I think it can turn out. All right. Um, the inner alley on Season right. Street, Vestry Street. What's wrong with it? Too dark and no, what was Cobblestone? Cobblestone is reconstruction. Here, Where are we? Just okay, go call on. someone over from me today. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Fourth between real okay. so much help in the story. And when I left, I'm, I'm going down. Where are you? I'm, I'm already. A war street in the west. We're on the work. Keep going. The next one is uh, this is the comfort station. Where? In the battery. <laughs> and far the offices. Those are still not funded. But, Playground was, but that wasn't. All right. Um, yeah. Renovate the pathway of Bowling Green Park, which currently pulls with water after heavy rains. Um, that still happens. It is still reconstruct or upgrade a park. Um, yeah, not a playground or athletic field we're looking for. Um, so that description was used for two different items for construct or upgrade a park or amenity. Yeah. One for the, as you said, the comfort station and the yep. battery, and then the bowling green. Yep. Okay. So I'm going to. Okay, I'm going to make the pathway. This is. So we can start the pathway. I'm going to be very specific. Well, Green Park, uh, in, enlarge or make this tourist safe. No, uh, so this is not enlarge. This is what we're asking for is an enlargement of Bowling Green. You're talking about the bulls? Yep, because we had talked about. But isn't it just where the bull is that you want to enlarge? To include the bull. Yep, and it says it right there. I mean, they're not moving the pool, no. Correct. So don't you want to just enlarge with the we, pool? We, we, that's what we asked right. for a long time ago. Yep. We wrote a resolution. I yes, we did. Um, Park should work with CB1 and Friends of City Hall Park to review the list of recommended repairs, including the replacement of the current pathway material, the more durable bluestone, and replace the gas lights with LEDs. That is oh, we did that. I remember we talked about that. Yeah. So what they respond to that great idea. Yeah. This is this request requires requires further study, aka money So so there were there were there were like five or six items in the list we reviewed. Can I just make sure we've got them all on that one statement? Yeah. Yep. So bluestone pathways. Yep. Uh, Northeast Plaza. So we took that off because the Northeast Plaza Sorry. is where that it was. If you remember, we had that on there yep. during COVID after it got destroyed with the cars parking and everything else. They actually rebuilt the um, greenery. Pit, you know, uh, you had me at we took. Yeah. Thank you. Yep. 
Uh, I'm an arborist on the weekend. I think you mentioned this, but Nita prepares at City Hall Park. DP, DPR should work with CB1 and Friends of City Hall. You read that, right? Yeah. Uh, you mentioned the lights. That's it. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, Dwayne Park. Contribute funding to the expansion of Dwayne Park as proposed by the Friends of Dwayne Park in order to be more consistent with the historic footprint. Okay. Uh, create new a uh, new library on the east side, the dugout space, active recreation space. C D one. That's C D one. Okay, uh, so that's the dugout, the bridge, Finn Square, Finn Square sidewalk repair, expand southern end of the sidewalks around the square to allow more space for planting some trees. Um, okay. I don't know what this is. Cool, I like disregard to get rid of. Um, new market site. Invest in capital projects to improve access to the water. We build new market for public use with community amenities. I'm um, about to study if you can do anything on there, period. Because that's been done, and yes, they have. Really? I hear that's it's part of uh, IDIC Point Master Plan. You have to yeah. rebuild the whole thing. Yeah, oh, they have to rebuild them. Nothing we can do except rebuild it. You can't just put some tarp on it and like. Achi? Achi is a yeah, very, light, very lightweight support. Yeah, we're going to have a hundred spots today, like $30. Uh, so what you want is study if any current temporary low impact temporary. Well, I know. It was sort of despicable. Is this? For any, for any square yeah. inch of it. Not, 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 not according to the New York Times. Okay, got it. Uh, downtown community center, it we just needs a support for that. We'll have to add. There's a yeah, add a request for uh, additional. So, this is EDC. Um, to help support services in to Support one programs. Okay. All right, uh, renovate the interior to repair the elevators of 26 Broadway. That's one of the ones that kids don't have access to uh, for the school. They're riding in a construction elevator. Do we name the school? Uh, we could. 26 Broadway's Millennium, isn't it? Uh, I think there's so many schools there. Isn't there a green school there? And there's a school. Yeah, I don't where think did, it's that's 45 Broadway. Where did the district the Millennium. the Millennium's around the corner. Yeah. But this is, isn't this the school so, where the gentleman was principal who now moved into the, what's his name? I'm having a senior moment. He came here and spoke. I'm sure he did. Right now, I barely have two brain cells. I, I have one. Now. All right. If you it. think of it, send it to Zach and I. All right. 75 Broadway. Uh, that's also replaced the elevator services. Trisha, if you're still on, pipe in. 81 New Street, same thing. All right. Uh, they should. Yeah. Uh, all right. Now we're. Um, do you need me to say something, Tammy? 
What schools are at 26 Broadway, 75 Broad? Do you remember? Uh, yeah, it's a uh, um, LMC and Millennium. And who is the principal of LMC? Uh, right now, it's Shannon Douglas. Who was it before him? Uh, before her? Kelly, was it? Kelly McGuire. Kelly. Uh, Kelly. Yeah. Uh, and who is at 81 New Street? That's also it's the back door. So the the it's in 26 Broadway, but the entrance is at 81 New, right. which is around the back in the alley where they've had all of those different challenges. Um, it's a it's an area where a lot of restaurants uh, get their deliveries that are on Exchange Place and on Broadway. So the the deliveries come around the back of those buildings. And the kids have a sidewalk that's about 3 feet wide. And there's also construction going on back there. It's, it's a disaster. So that's where that came from. They need to do something about that. You know, a community board 2 had come to us. If you recall, Tammy, um, because they were the ones that did the co resolution on getting that street closed. And I guess NYPD uh, terrorist has a post there and they really push back on it, if you recall. Okay, gotcha. All right, moving on. JP Ward at West Street. This is about ponding um, at curb cuts, both Betty and I know this well. Um, uh, public for green structures, the stormwater, that's uh, district one. Oh, it's just disgraceful. Uh, yeah, sanitation garages, sanitation infrastructure. They said, please consult downtown a lot. Uh, we said for pilot locations, they're actually doing that um, with the waste containment. So, do we feel that we can take this call? Which one is this? This is continued support for I waste containment. That. Yeah, they're doing. That. Wait, yeah, yeah. with the downtown alliance. Let's take that off. Yeah, the new one's going to be on Murray Street near Church. Um, it's the building where the Starbucks is in the corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, they just sent us a letter on all cannabis. Don't that feel that like we need to have Murray. better e waste and sites, or you yeah. know, you have to wait for special e waste yeah. events to get yeah. rid of electronic stuff, and everybody has to wait and hold on to their stuff to get rid of it. Do I care? Huh? Um, uh, we, we, we could put something out. I, mean, I think we need to have more e-waste access or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. All right. Um, traffic patterns with okay. Trinity Place around Edgar. This is. So we still have issues at. We should have. We still have issues around Trinity. So PS one fifty at forty two Trinity. Um, they lack a safe space designated for a bus stop and to let children on and off. So what we had talked about was closing the lane and expanding the sidewalk. That's not happening. Mm -hmm. So we're going to leave that part there. They have a roof. I know that they don't have enough outdoor space. Um, yeah. So we're going to leave that no, I'm completely against if they close any access to that garage. Uh, Tammy, Tammy. Yes. Um, Edgar um, Street is has passed that that closes during certain times of the day. I just want to be clear about that. Um, but we do, they do need the wider sidewalk, right? Well, they already have the wider sidewalk because it was required as per the mechanicals of the building. The problem was, is that the scaffolding was still up and they couldn't access the sidewalk or the north side of Edgar Street because they had scaffolding coming into that lane. They have only just removed it a few weeks ago. So now they have access to the sidewalk, but it's still not a large enough space to receive 900 people which is how many they have coming there. 478 students, but K to five. So someone come, comes with them. So what we got past is that Edgar Street, the westbound lane north, 
lane um, is closed during drop off time. It, we did not get the afternoon because the empty buses come in the tunnel that have to come up through the city. So it's still a struggle at uh, late afternoon drop off, but the morning is happened. And they also close the tunnel spur in the morning. So some of these things have been taken care of, um, but they haven't made the space fully available yet is our current issue. There's no bus stop there for the buses, is there? Well, they, they didn't have the bus stopping there because they didn't have access to the plaza because of the, the construction. We are just about to look into whether they're going to bring the bus there now, and that will be dependent on the left side door. So that's going to be something I'm following up with next month. But yes, that bus stop was supposed to be at the corner of Edgar and Trinity Place facing with the door facing the school. The kids would be let out on the very safe median in Edgar Street, which would be closed at that time. And that was the plan. Gotcha. So, uh, we're going to leave it as bus stops. Yep. Yes, so, it, it hasn't happened yet, but that's the reason I just wanted to be clear. So that's continued. Okay, gotcha. All right, uh, moving on. Where are we now? These are ideas. Love this. New ones. These are new ones. Now, things to understand. Uh, whatever new we put in here has to be something that we can advocate for and not get into fights at the full board. Okay. Right? It could be new, but I cannot sit here and have fights at the full board on it. So, DEP, these, there's a whole list of things that Jared sent us about noise cameras and location. I am about around the Holland Tunnel area. So, we, he individually put all of these in. The noise cameras for DEP, I'm fine with that. Everything looks fine with all of this. I probably would have put it in one location and list one thing and listed every location. Yes. But he did them as separate notes. Does so, this does this include the proposed notion of a that rotary dressing up the rotary? Not yet. Okay. So this is uh, signage, noise cameras, and red light camera to improve pedestrian safety and frequently ignored traffic light. So again, it's, it's traffic light as well. Canal and Greenwich facing west, canal and Greenwich facing east. Um, people try to get to the tunnel. Right. Yes. Asking for a traffic light, which, you know, from my experience, you never ask DOT for a traffic light. You ask DOT for a traffic calming solution and let them decide what works. But if, if we want to leave traffic light, I'd go with your suggestion. Yeah, I think let's I think do that. See if Cheryl picks up who put this yeah. in. And then we uh, can go on those further in case. Oh, Foster. I, I think he'll be okay with it. It's... I mean, I'm not sure it's enough for me to vote against the budget, but I have a real strong version to red light cameras. I think they increase the danger at intersections. Because people know where they are and they speed up to miss them, speed up to get mm -hmm. to them, and they slam on their brakes when they realize there's one there. And DOT has a habit of unsynchronizing the lights where they put the cameras to make it easier That's to catch correct. people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's right. I, I have never seen a traffic red light traffic light. And, and so let's cut it out. Do its job. Okay. Let's cut it out. I have trouble with that. Let's cut I mean, it out. Noise cameras, I have no issues. I don't, I don't know, know what that is. Yeah, I don't really think it sounds What happens? It's via pilot program of permanent pending legislation because there's an intro out on that. So, like, you hog your horn 10 times and that guy gets it finally gets oh, it. So, what's your car synced up? I don't oh, know. Or, or a very, very loud radio. Well, those aren't really necessarily nice things. So maybe it won't be noticed because it's being removed, but I would think that's a topic that would be debated at the full board. So noise cameras? No. Well, the red light, the red light, light cameras. Yeah, yeah, we're going to remove it. No. So what I'm saying is it may not be an issue if it's removed because people may not recall it was there. But if someone does recall it was there, I think it will create a These debate. are brand new ideas. Okay, got it. The okay. One person for good. 
Yep. Won't say anything. Good. So, I think there you go. So we well, all speak here. Okay. So we're leaving signage, noise, traffic calming solutions that may include pedestrian driver safety improvements, more signage, uh, no to the red light camera. Yeah. But you are condensing them? Mm -hmm. You're condensing them or are you leaving them as they are? Oh, no. I'm going to just leave them going. Okay. Um, that one goes. This red, can you take off the red light camera at Hudson and Beach? All of them. Yeah, all of them. Yeah, I'm working on them. I know. I'm, I'm going to go take it off. You got it. You got it. I want you to know that I was safety commissioner in the eighth grade. Do you have a sash? Of course. I you know. No, I, I, but I, I had, but I was safety. Can you believe that? Like, and trash. Yeah. Uh, John Burke, Junior yeah. High School in Los Angeles. I'm just did you yell at the intersections? Just of course. So. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just going to call all of these traffic calming yeah. measures. Are they including police? Uh, are they uh, are noise cameras traffic calming, or do you want or what do you call a noise camera? That's uh, the intent is certainly noise pollution, not traffic calming. And what, what, kind of like, yeah. get after them? what do they want? If I honk my horn because somebody runs in front of me, do you I know? No, I don't. You were at a different so weren't you? You were. I, I was, but I don't remember this. Yeah, we were talking about uh, a part, part of the city of the second loudest. Yeah, oh, I think yeah. that's all they need. That's, 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 that's very But cool. is that for someone who lays for you? Or just honking the horn? Yeah. yeah. But it's noise pollution. Yeah. It's not a, a honk of a horn, even though whatever. It's noise it's pollution. pollution. Yeah. Chucks is horns. Yeah, I don't see well, that. Well, that's 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 anything to do with it. Yeah. 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 I don't know how you do my They're too alive for me. I don't know. You know, the nice thing is, it's a pilot. It's, it's a request for a pilot. Some of it's very right. No, it's kind of in that. Can we do it in that flat? Yeah, I'll be um, Okay, so here we go. I'll try to help me sit too long. So I need a red light camera goes on. We see the coin. so Uh, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> All the questions. I thought you started. I just want you to know. You have to be really nice to say the this because this has been unreal. Nice to back. Uh, you say that? Well, yeah, Road Nation has been doing Horsack, it. Horsack arrives on Monday. <laughs> on Tuesday, gets training for budget. Hey, Zach will get used to us. Let's we'll take out all the red lights. Um, speed camera, Hudson and South and Lake. Oh. You okay with speed cameras? We thought frankly it was, but they sometimes act on speed, they, they, they seem active. Leave active the speed lines. Leave the speed Yeah, sometimes. I don't know. So what's the like 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 A permanent curb extension to prevent vehicles from entering the hall. They are the same. I don't know. It's a real People reporting by the so I'd like to report this. All right, now ask. Uh, we're like good. Okay. Do we want? Do they want? They want signage prohibiting Holland Tunnel access from Watt Street. Should that be a study? Um, and well, I, I think for Watson Canal, the, the problem with that is that for many times of the day, you actually cannot get to the Holland Tunnel from Watt Street, but there's no indication of that when you are on West Street. So you have all these, because they put those. Right, areas. but they only go up sometimes. That's and they go up sometimes. There is never an advantage to the driver to go from Watt Street to the <laughs> that one. I think the GPS, that, the GPS has sent people down there. And yeah. you always I'm going to say we're asking for traffic calming study for that. Yeah, okay. yeah. I don't feel so. Um, and then, yeah. Yes. Um, and then, oh, Nege, would you remove uh, the to to prevent vehicles from entering? Mighty, this is long. It's 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 long.
with its dire order. Yeah, one only. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. Between church and west, this is the project that I'm working on. Right, 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 right. right. Um, church. And, yeah. You know that that area that they locked yeah. off. You know, they see where the camp. You used to be able to walk on the street, but now they've closed it off, and it's only the street. Right. So the goal would be. What's the difference between it is now? I mean, so the way it is now is kind of a no man's land. We have an opportunity, and I photos that I'm happy to share with anybody. Or if you've been up by uh, Gansevoort, for example, they took an unused portion of a street, they painted it, and they put planters in there mm. and street furniture. It's and fabulous. Fabulous. And the thing is, we have nothing. You can't like sit. If you're going to go meet somebody at the back, God forbid you want to sit down anywhere. Mm -hmm. So if we can look at Bessie. Church Street has a bike way. West Street has the Greenway. We can get a dedicated bike lane in two ways to get people to connect from church to yeah, the Greenway. Yeah, well, and good. then paint the street, put street furniture it's out there. Good. It could be a really artsy, beautiful pedestrian way. This place has to be had the first pack. Did I see a presentation? Oh, I keep trying. Yeah, it must be your so, first presentation. So, and let's so 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 get the pack to go in on that. The this. pack is already the grade that they're in. Uh, that they are curious for that. The Port Authority had interest. I spoke to DOT and the director of Y10's type on. Well, I think she's a student. Well, she's a student. Yeah, the public realm is off. Right. And everybody was into it. I just have to get to a point that I can get the walkthrough kind of study. Why are we writing a resume? Yeah, that's cool. What? Why are we writing a resume? Oh, I, I will. Uh, we will. I want to do a walk. I think I might have even done a resume already. I don't remember. Um, I think I did a resume already last year, but I want to do a walkthrough with everybody. Now that we have the tools and I understand significantly better about the monies and what could be done in the current budget cycle and what can't be considering the pegs and stuff. And actually, really well primed that we can get this done, and it could be done in for the next season. Yeah, absolutely, it's, it's not board. that hard. And they're not the city budget. Port Authority said if DOT was interested in it, because DOT still owns the streets, that it sounded like a great idea. Does, so I, I, I assume they uh, want to still have their own vehicular traffic on you, that last. Half walk there. You wouldn't. You wouldn't necessarily have to restrict all the vehicular and shared street, right. you know, parts to get it to a right. point. There's not lots of traffic there, right? That's right. That's right. And the the way it's done, it Brent, uh, 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 near yes. the Whitney, near that area, Tammy was talking about, you still have vehicular traffic. Mm -hmm. They've set it up and planned it. It's mm -hmm. really very good. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And so it's an opportunity that we get new public space. It could be something really great. And like I think, all I can think of is, even if you're a smorgasbord, you wanted to go sit someplace. Mm -hmm. Very limited options, mm -hmm. yeah. and yeah. they're not putting any chairs out there. You know. I have a question yeah. of them. They don't want to play garbage cans anywhere around there. They've got garbage kids that come. Kind of they find them. They're, they're few and far between. They're few and far between, but I yeah. have them. You got to know where to look. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, there's a bump. Yeah. Exactly. They didn't want to pull back. Pedestrian Washington in all directions. Pedestrian and driver. This is part of uh, traffic calming by Jared. Where are you? These are all new stuff. I don't think they're on that phone. I try to like it. Yeah. It's that whole way. Um, West Side Highway at late. Yeah, no red light camera. Not okay. Go. Anything with red light. Yep. Yep. Uh, that's All right. Enforcement of Hudson Street, no parking signage. Uh, Lane Clearance prohibited. Yeah, that's. Yeah, guess what? Current enforcement. Is is nowhere. Um, I would change this to enforcement of no parking signage throughout the district for 
I mean, I don't know. Well, this is a particular is a problem. That's I, mean, is, I assume they're yeah. talking about here that how much parking there are like several. Yeah, I was saying more like how many commercial only parking meter there are, how much no standing for commercial. I mean, there's, there's, they seem archaic, some of these signs in my neighborhood. Like, as if people are still constantly delivering fish to the front street. It's just like not happening. So I don't know why we have to, you know, those of us who live in that area that want to park, like, say, park a car on the street, I can't if it's commercial parking during the day. Only. Is that a only. possible intern project? I'll do it. I don't mean someone asked me nicely. Now I'm talking. Yeah, yeah it's Yeoman's work, but, you know, how do you set it up? And, and we have to take a look. Overall, Benny and I have talked about this. There's an open position to hire somebody to be in charge of that particular area. Oh. So while there is a whole curb management plan that came out about three months ago, yep. they're due to still hire up people to do it. So you're just at a dead time. Mm -hmm. And they being DOT, they, they being department. They being the DOT. Yep. You can see it online. You can yep. see oh, the curb management plan. But the problem is. Should we gang together to fill the there's, so there's, yeah, yeah, yeah. there's a hundred of these. So <laughs> for those of us going to get to There's a hiring point, but there are no people on the job. Right. So the enforcement of Hudson Street, no parking signage. What are we thinking? I don't know what the origin, but I'm assuming they're talking about like all internal traffic yeah. being unnecessarily narrow. Correct. Like rush hour. That's exactly. So you put the hours up. Well, well it's not during rush hour. It's during rush hour, hour. or after, but it's probably certain blocks, not the entire Hudson Street. But I'm, I would guess yeah. from yes, from whatever that two blocks. I see. South. Street. Or, or North Moor, maybe, or North Moor no. Beach. Whatever, it's after North Moor. Yeah, after North Moor, basically North Moor to Canal. No, it's not Beach. It's just Street. Just Street. Well, that's Well, that's Yeah. Debrasis, Debrasis. Debrasis. All right, well, we can look into it. I mean, those are the streets around there. Definitely North Moor Beach, Debrasis, and that street. Uh, no, well, it's actually it the other way. Way. Or it's that's place. That's or place. place. You mean we're ready for committees? All right. So no, no, no. we're good. Um, all right. So I got I got that for traffic ups. Yeah. Uh, Canal and Greenwich. They want a traffic enforcement person. I mean, you just want one everywhere, don't you? Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, we can we can we can try. Hubert and Hudson. Hubert. 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 That's okay. Hubert. Hubert. So we're going to say no. well, assignment intersections along along Hudson Street or entrance to traffic going to the Howland Tunnel, right? Or, or traffic trying to avoid the traffic. Or or whatever, whichever. Intersections along Hudson Street, assignment during rush off or traffic. All right. And that way I can get rid of intersection of Q. Hubert and Hudson here, Lake and Hudson, Vestry and Hudson, just all three of those. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Just. Ah, here we go. District wide public bathrooms in CB1. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, DOT traffic coming in all school zones, including well marked early visible signage, colored people pavement, reduced speed limits and traffic. Why do we always tell them? What we want. Um, I'm going to watch it. Put them where that person has sweet names. Yes, I love that. I love that. Okay, mm -hmm. so this is from, I'm sure this is an idea that came um, implement traffic calming measures at all school zones. So the question is do we need to study for that to review all the traffic calming measures in all the school zones? Post congestion pricing. I know. I mean, the whole place is a school zone. We have hot spots. We have PS150. We have screws. I mean, the problem is we have hot zones because we don't have any more traffic enforcement agents and cross paths. So, like, you know, all of them. So, I mean, it's a question. Do we want to leave this on here? I think it's a micro issue as opposed to a macro issue. So, you want to take this 
this is how I feel because I'm like it's obviously like biased. Like and I'm in full disclosure, I'm biased because I'm pushing for Spoo Street right now, but um, there's just limited resources, is what I'm worried about. Well, yeah, what it sounds like so it sounds like can. they already would do it, except they can't get a capital. No. To ask them to do something that we know they're willing to do is futile, so we're not respecting what they're actually doing. Extend your search. Study on traffic coming to the schools without crossing okay. Yeah, I should yeah. Uh, Pearl Main needs to be resurfaced, repaved, correct? No potholes. Residential commercial garbage placed in Pearl leaks. Okay, okay, that's nice. Something more needs to be. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, thank you. All right, so what what is this request? I don't know. I don't. Okay, I think it's just Pearl Street between Maiden and Platte for resurfacing. Okay. Well, the, the, the resident commercial restaurants, blah, blah, blah. What should we take the request for the first step? Just substantiating it, substantiating it with other details. Right. Okay. It's a correct to fill the potholes. Let's take out that. Okay. And then the garbage is collected, yeah. the future remains on um, Sierra City. This is just explaining why. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 What the fuck? Yeah. 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 Y
that is a tough, a tough spot where people are, you know, you walk through the park. Is that what they're saying? When you walk through the park, how they're Study design from the safer paths for pedestrians to come at and cars. Sorry. Mm -hmm. And cyclists along park are incorporating a pedestrian sidewalk, tourist wayfinding, lighting. I'm not being seen. We can see now. You can be talking about where J and R is, but we yes. can't talk Yeah, park. all the way down. And uh, yeah, yeah. I think they're talking about the park road. Yeah. That's the part of the park road that's kind of no, it's uh, right down. Except for bike lane. And lanes. that's a whole addition thing because people yeah. want it open and people want it closed. Oh, sure. Okay. But J and R is not that sidewalk around. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that used to be a giant construction site. So. Okay. okay. Um, sidewalk vault <laughs> inspection. Isn't that ongoing? Is that DOT or is that what's that by SP? This it's uh oh is this our sidewalk ball thing? Yeah. Oh, this is a this is top top notch stuff. So uh this is the program, you know, like local law. So buildings that are of a certain height have that. So we have so many uh oh, I have to put that. Uh we have so many sidewalk balls yes. in our neighborhood. And they are so old, and they I've seen them firsthand. They are literally corroding into nothingness. So the city should have a program where you have to register. You don't have to give it back to anybody. It's still yours, but it may have to be kept better. Then people will fall through sidewalks. They, it's not. I thought they had to be inspected. Absolutely, Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Any no, no, no like no, uh, any like that good. Cast iron building where you walk yeah, over the, the you know you ever walk over yeah, yeah. someone's gonna walk yeah. over and they're gonna just fall right. right through and that's gonna be the beginning of this program and they won't give credit to us. Historic districts are out seating yeah. on safety inspection, sidewalk, vault inspection program, similar to this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's fair. That's what we're doing. Mm -hmm. I'm about I'm sure they had to be inspected. Okay. Park Road. Oh, I need to put that okay. Okay. Uh, to the Hudson Green. Okay. Yes. Maybe. Okay. Yes. Where to go? Marine Alliance is false. Uh, These are shaped real time, right? Yeah, that's all we're doing in here. So I don't have to do it again later. All right, here's six. Here's six. Ah, yes. This is Pier six, the heliport. Oh. That's right by me. Oh, I right know we're by uh, the beginning. Uh, of, uh, yeah. 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 Yep. Yeah. Um, it's an Anything to get rid of the helicopters. Yeah. Um, the rest of our sadly, they're not. <laughs> sadly, they're not getting rid of it, but they did. They did make a plan to like move it further out a little bit and then add the highway. So I understand. Okay. We're good okay. Okay. All right, uh, Manhattan Anchorage and Brooklyn Bridge between Park Road, construction new public library. Now, why do we ask for a public library here when we've asked for a library somewhere and then under the arches, we've also asked for some kind of community public use? This looks like it's in two. Well, I know where it came from, but uh, so you know, that was uh, our amazing Rosa, 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 okay, so. The one thing, there are a couple of things that I'm curious about. Um, uh, do we have everything about the homeless? Do we have everything about the homeless? Funny is support service being offered to migrant we homeless families. Yeah. So no, and we do have some homeless. Yeah. Um, mental health outreach for the homeless. Funded for mental health populations. Okay. So here's a question. Um, I wanted the city to, I wanted to add the city to develop a workforce program for migrants, eligible, eligible migrants to fill roles such as 
Parking garage. Parking garage. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. But it's not only that, they should be working. They don't want to work. Yeah. Language would be a bit of a problem. I said we'll just have to have an SBSL program. Actually, I have to tell you, one of the best crossing guards we've ever had in Community Board One was a primarily Latin speaking individual. She was a 234. She was amazing. And yeah, she understood English, but not at the whole time when she started. She was just amazing. And if you ask Lisa, she couldn't have been more valued. <clears throat> what happens when? She retired. She moved on another job. She's lovely. Absolutely lovely. Well, they do move on if they get to it. But the part of the part of the program is yeah. the main one. So create a program for workforce and language training. That is days for migrants. I do that. I am. I am. I am. Eligible. I taught literacy. I never taught or literacy in Spanish. But you could see English as a second. I'm not So are these new? Okay. I just don't need to be aware of. That's everything. Uh, okay. Wait, can I? Uh, well, has ten beddings. That's everything that we have on Airtable. <laughs> Not every committee worked in Airtable. I will say for 2024, the process is going to look a little bit different because we're going to be Zach and I are not going to be doing this in October again with an edge. So city responses come back in Q1. So we're going to be looking at Q1 developing as we go along with every resolution we do. Will be a dialogue and conversation that says, should this go into the budget? Right. Okay. Sure. All right. So let's go around for committees. I'm disappointed. I need you to come. To, I'm coming to you last because there should be small business things in here. Oh, that's what I was thinking. And so I need you to think in your last in the loop. All right, Jason, anything for landmarks? Um, we had a light committee for a very important building with very, very uh, dramatic uh, intervention, um, and which I haven't written the no resolution on. It's going to be deadlines tomorrow. I know, Lucy and I work together closely on deadlines. It's going to cause a lot of. Yeah, I think uh, we need uh, that's the Walker Street. That's uh, my oh, this is landmarks. That's going to be wasn't it 36 walk? I don't know the address, it goes so much. It's it's the whole lot. Yeah, the old do you have anything in consideration for knowing, for example, that where you are and what's going on? Do you have anything for the budget that you haven't discussed or no. heard? No, no, I put in a lot of entries. Perfect. Yeah, I did that. Okay. Um, no okay. problem. You're back first. Okay. The customs house. Is coming to quality of life in November. We invited them. They had, they are finally doing their vaults. Funny that you have the conversation. The sidewalk vaults and their basement from Sandy. Mm -hmm. um, and so we were reached out by the GSA because it's run by the Federal. Yeah. Um, by the Smithsonian. They told us they already had landmarks approval, so we don't have to worry about that. Thank oh. you. Um, but they'll come to present their, their construction plan. Okay. Just so you know. Great. Okay. All right. Licensing, do you have anything first for budget that you think that we should add in here? I don't think so. We had the we had enforcement of the open streets and the whatever. And I guess uh we don't have enforcement of the open streets. We don't have it in there? No. Well, I think we should. And I think the whole issue of noise complaints noise should be in there. What about noise? Well, that there should be an enforcement. We have uh, in terms of hours that for stipulations that we give. And they call three one one. They live, but nobody okay. does anything. I have a second thing for you. If you're done, what about cannabis? I don't want to do it. I thought it was going to come down. Exactly. Yeah, I want it here. Um, so for cannabis, oh, okay. because we're trying to align it like SLA. What we discovered this week was we have reported illegal tobacco stores to DCWP, and they took on any kind of tobacco before OCM was created, which means any complaints that went there 
or any cannabis that was sold there or hookah or anything is now null and void to DCWB because OCM is supposed to do it. So I think for budget, we need to one empower DCWB again with more enforcement yeah. and a coordination team yeah. with those. Um, okay. What was the who was the new CB that had 71 cannabis advocates? CB2. Two. CB2. one. You sure? That's crazy. You just saw me like we only have twenty. Seventy. I know. I read it. That's okay. insane. So OCM, we uh, OCM. It's going to be all cannabis stores. We need to fund DCWP. It's, okay. it's not OCM. It's it's, it's oh, fund DCWP to coordinate. But it's also supposed to be justice with OCM. Or is illegal the back door stores about justice selling cannabis people of color and increased funding for more enforcement and inspectors for supported for posterity regarding even the problem is it worked like regularly uh inspections and showing them illegal tobacco stores. Um Okay. That one's in. Nothing from Battery Park City. Yeah, Very much so. Nothing from land use. Uh, land use, I disagree. Uh, bring it up. Nobody brought it up. I asked the committee, nobody brought anything. I think, I don't know whether it's a land use request or a community board request okay. that DCP assign a planner to every community oh. board. Oh, yeah. We don't have that. Let's put it in. Yeah, that was a good one. Because this is brutal. Yeah, be brutal. So this is a budget request to DCP that DCP should staff for the community boards, land use consultants to work for the community boards. Yes. Right. Who was that guy? Michael. 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 Yeah. Yeah. But, but we don't have to have one, one board, right? What? We don't have to have one, one board. board. To do we definitely need one board. We need, right. I think you do. Yeah. Some some boards might you need any, but yes, we'll never get it. But and and the answer to what Pat's comment was, we found out in uh, Borough Board this morning, CB2 has 71 cannabis <laughs> applications. That it's insane. unconscionable because they're all next to each other. Well, that's what they, they agree on they're the not, same fucking block. They're not all legal when we discover it. So we're working on it. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. So the first few exist on paper. They've been built out. So at one point, they were part of the conversation. I don't think I heard them on the list or you you. In no particular order, assess status of all peers, docks, and bulkheads. Because we removed that one because that's already been done. Got it done. What you had me have, we removed. <laughs> support for parks volunteers, support partnerships for parks to support neighborhood volunteers, et cetera, et cetera. Those are already on there. Uh, no, it's, 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 we it's, deleted it's it. And this, I but I don't. I don't. Th I don't Fine. think. I'm good. I think we deleted it because park volunteers are programs that are run by each friends group. We can't get the city to fund it. Fund, fund it. anything. We did say fund park staff and parks yep. enforcement. Yep. Yep. Next one. There's been a lot of discussion on this one. New public pool and CD one. Yeah, yeah, that's in here. It's in there. Is it in there? Okay. Yeah. Stay, sorry. The last one on the yep. sheet. Uh, that's Pier 26 it. estuarium contribute funding to complete build out of the Pier 26 yeah. estuarium. Um, I think we removed it one day, but it needs to come back. Yes. So it's right, it's written here if you just want. Yeah, that one we have removed. And that should be absolutely. absolutely, but it has to. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. And then there were two or three new ones that came up. Okay. Although they're not new topics, I, but. Um, However, we frame it support funding study of the tree program tree installation around CB1. We've heard a few programs. There had a few. is a tree study has been there already. Uh, I don't know. So there's a bill, there's a bill in city council that our city council person has already signed on okay. about tree canopy. So okay. I'm not sure it's already there. Got it. The next one was um 
support for beautification and enhanced pedestrian functionality around the Holland Tunnel Rotary. That's in there. That should be here. Oh, yeah, we have that. I asked Long about it, but I didn't right see it. So I might have missed it. Well, it's a whole. It's no. It's a whole. It's a whole plan. It's a beautification. It's a whole. And so Alice gave us. That should be added. That's like the sponge. Yes. Yeah. That has to be added. Yeah. As a whole. Yes. Yeah. Put in there. No, but they've done a whole different thing, and it's very. It looks terrific. And the green and everything else, and it's planned. It's all around. Maybe there. you could also address planning on it. Because it is, after all, part of planning a city is planning. We, you know, we keep our entries and exits clean and beautiful and a certain requirement. Yep. Beautification and this. Yeah. Well, but what's the department you're asking? The report authority has the control over it. Well, we, we had a group come present to us. So they, they, yeah. yeah, they're not for working with. I well, we mentioned two other OTs as well. So, where, where is the line? Is, is so, there a line with the OT? So, that's the problem. I spoke with the person with DOT who specializes with um, other authorities that have control. Yeah. The, the area around the rotary is blacked out on the DOT map, oh. New York City DOT. They have no say whatsoever on the street. Getting the exact borders is what I'm trying to work on now. So the beautification, unfortunately, what we could, we did all of the stuff around the Holland Tunnel for, um, that's the funding study impacts traffic. When they gave their presentation, they said some bits and pieces on the periphery were city control. That's what right. I thought. Right. I thought so too, right. like, like a planting area. So we could, we could put in the budget for DOT and DPR, um, specifically, any areas that are city control to be funding for beautification and safety and safety yeah. and so safety. There's, there's one more. Yeah. I know. So there was one more. All right, hold on. Hold on. Beautification sponge. And that's going to be DOT or city. Oh. I'm making notes for myself. Okay. So I'm just not familiar with what the correct procedure is on this, but friends of Exlet Park presented to us. Mm. They spoke again about their efforts to beautify that area and using native plants to right. create color and greenery. They had a specific funding ask, which they thought was part of this process for 3,500 bucks. Jesus. But okay. a very specific use case. case. I don't know if again if this fits into what we're discussing, but it does. It does. Park that needs a little bit of dough. We can put in here for DPR to fund native plant additional native plantings for park for Hexet Slip Park. I can't. I'm not going to be able to say give me 3,500. No, understood. But yeah, yeah. but but this is I don't know if. if about this discretionary money. Yeah. Um, Andrew, you know, each gives a person has discretionary or discretionary fund. Why don't you suggest to them that they can pass That might be faster than waiting for this budget. We do both. Yeah. For our judge, I better argue. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, that do, do we want to reference? Friends of uh, Excellent Park, no. 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 Okay. Okay. Check for that. Yeah, right. because you just want the city to fund it and then give it to them. So got that it. Gets there. okay, that's in. That was it. Okay. So the other one that we have to figure out how to word right. There's two for the Holland Tunnel that we need to put in. The Holland Tunnel for the parks. We're going to say. To beautifying green any city owned spaces and and that uh, via DOT and DPO. Okay. Well, why won't they do my resolution? Mm -hmm. So the th the the specific ask of thirty five hundred does not require a resolution. Okay. 
will be lucky if they get a pot at this rate with the budget the way it's going. It's insane. Okay. Betty, you're next. My question is simply because maybe I didn't hear anything that Betty says. Is it still in about asking for them to have the guidelines for Stark Street? I didn't see, I saw a lot of the cobblestone repairs. I did see the study. We can definitely add in a study for what was in last year. You can take out of there. And the reason for that is we've taken word for word out of the people who did the historic district council 2017 report. It was put together by people who had expertise and members of the DDT and the DOT. And the wording is important. And the DOT agreed with it last year. If the DOT agreed with it for a study, um, well, no, it was to create the guidelines. It was guidelines, wasn't it? To create the guidelines, and what I intend to do next month. Well, now it has to go to Jake. So. It has to go to, because the solution that we have. Well, well, remember, the problem is the resolution is directly contradictory to what was passed in landmarks the month before mm -hmm. about the treatments of the stones and the streets in the historic South Street Seaport. So the problem is it doesn't it doesn't necessarily work. Right. We gotta make a job. I don't see why we don't want any contradictory stuff. So maybe right. we can just work. But that it out. doesn't right it doesn't tell them how to do it. It just says yeah. create the guidelines. Yeah, yeah. If you think the guidelines are going to counter to what you said then you're in trouble in here. Well some of the things in what was presented which did because there were that's why it needs to be talked about in the book because landmarks tends to be we want the individual cobblestones replaced like as because we want this street to look like this street. We don't want it to be flat. You know, if you need to make a curb cut, that's a that's one thing, but we don't want to change the entire design of the street. That's true. And it has to be, and we and people on landmarks have individually said we want this neighborhood to look like this neighborhood, this neighborhood to look like this, not a homogenization. I and the, get that completely, and I'll work with Jason on this, but this also now, because I was equipped by Jess, I took the wording for the accessibility out of the historic district council, what they put together from what comes to the access board, what comes directly from the ADA, and the legal teams, and that went through and said, this is what you have to do. Quarter of an inch maximum vertical height difference. Right. Half an inch vertical difference, uh, horizontal difference for where our sprout is at. So all those specifications are put there, and some of the things people want to do, they can't do because better feds won't let them do. Okay, we'll take a look at that, and we'll make sure we can get some. some yeah, I'll go some, some, yeah, yeah, we'll do it. Yeah, Molly, like you're good. We talked about affordable housing yesterday. <laughs> yeah, it's in there. Yeah. Small business. I was actually hoping some of my climate suggestion made it in, I guess, not. Uh, Which ones? My well, environmental. Uh, it did. It specific, specific, it did? I think so. Oh, the know. rain collection one was the one I talked about. The, the, uh, we have bio spells in here. Battery backup. Oh, there was a large topic today at Borough Board about yeah. more fires. Um, it's because they don't get it. They're like 10 years behind. In every community board. About lithium batteries and storage inside. Yeah, yeah it's because the battery thing is different. You were talking, yeah. well, you were talking about. Uh, uh, First of all, they're wrong because that's 10 year old information. They have different kind of batteries now, with like LFP and flow batteries and lithium phosphate batteries that are flammable. That's a different topic. Is accessible? Yeah. 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 I lived with them for a decade. I recharge them in my house yes, every day. Yes, but there are illegal ones that can certify. Rain gardens. We're talking about totally different things. I was going to say, they, they are completely different animals. You're talking about scooters, pack batteries that go into vehicles. I'm talking about battery storage for, I'm talking utility scale battery storage. Sorry, Patrick, for Governor's Island, uh, where we can actually see real resilience for lower Manhattan. Um, but lithium batteries, the term on the FDMY is against it for homes or for apartments because there was once a fire problem. But they're not being determined. This is in the weeds, but they're just kind of battery uh, chemistries at this point in anodes. Um, the other one was uh, here we go. Um, so tell me, uh, funding support electrification of all the ferries. 
That wasn't mine, but I like that too. Yeah. But there's also the, um, oh, I forgot. But what's the name for the world's nuclear power plants for Governor's Island? Many did not. I was not for that. For the resilience, the, 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 the what is this? The environmental EV charters for single brands. Yeah, all yeah. these huge EV charters. charters. I like that. And for small business, I'll be super yeah. fast. Honestly, We're I put it in my tax breaks. I'm not actually asking for money. But if there's a way to reward companies for bringing people back to the office, I'd love to see that. And the reason why is because you bring people back to the office through secondary and tertiary and you have economic this. activity. You see prices for offices go back. You see these people earning minimum wage, actually making money again. Tax breaks are a creation of a small business. I'd love that, but specifically, I was saying, you know, go hybrid or full people in the office full time and get a GCT tax break. And the GCT is a criminal tax in New York State, but well, actually, actually, I'm a Democrat. But. <laughs> okay. Uh, EV charters for city parking garages, got that. Okay. Study for tax breaks in small business uh, zones. Yes. And, zones. Sorry, not the dumb term, but the, the municipal charging is something that they promised, and they, they've delivered one out of 6,000 that they promised. I guess. So, yeah, so they need to follow up on the promise. Yeah. And then they right. high speed. Yeah, do you see fast yeah. charters specifically? Yep. Exactly. What was the other one? I got I spit on a bunch of fun stuff. Uh, battery, battery storage on Governor's Island uh, and desalination is what I want to suggest because we will eventually run out of water. Battery storage. Yeah, so it hasn't been utility scale battery storage, whether Governor's Island or somewhere else, uh, Rikers Island, uh, Lord has never gone on the power in 24. So we would have it for about five or 10 days, depending on how much is tapping. So I'll And there are different kinds of batteries with even batteries. I'm happy to educate them on that. But I think we want to specify, you know, grid scale battery storage. Yeah. So, yes. so, so they don't yep. think it's you know part yes, of the so I think that's what right. right. it's not right. 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 Yep. right. But yeah, I'd really love to see some sort of incentive, whether it's um, Cash incentive because we're talking about budget or a tax incentive mm -hmm. for small business or you know medium sized businesses or large to keep people in the office. It's it's inescapable for people who are in the office to see that economic activity on the ground for all these minimum wage. But I think I think part of the problem is also you're incentivizing somebody to want to have people back in the office, but it's, it's there's a lot of talk. There's a lot of people who don't want to be back. Exactly. So I'm give a shit. If you come work from Morning Communications Group, my firm, we have 10 employees now. You have to be in the office. If you don't want to be in the office, you don't work for me. Simple as that. Because you, you're that. contributing to the community. That's how I feel about it. That's right. That's right. <laughs> and for every person like you, there's another person for me who will never come back. I, have I, have well, I, do. I, think, I think we're going to No, no. There's the special rest. situations. Yeah. Don't go there. Um, there, there are some. I think it, I think it's I think, the, I think, I think it's a, a huge change. Well, it's, it's, been, it's a it's a boon to a lot of industries. It's been been it. It's a, sorry, I that. I have I have Do you need to pull anyone out? That you'd like to have. Do you need to pull anyone online? Seriously. For this topic? Or yeah. Or, or, or. <laughs> 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 sorry, everybody. <laughs> uh, I, I don't think we have anything. Trisha, you don't have anything else? I'm done. I'm just there. The uh, Marriott, who, Marriott, no, no. I don't have anything else. The camera's on. Marriott, do you have anything else? Let's take a vote because I believe Mr. Mr. Canals called. I do not. And Second. it's been seconded. All in favor to pass the budget? Are there any abstentions? Recusals, no's, motion passed. Thank you. Thank you. Having a walkie? Yeah.